So today we're just going to quickly um, take a look at uh, America's solar return chart um, just to see um, if there's anything, any exact aspects. So yeah, this will be for July. It'll be July 5th, actually, is America's solar return. Yeah, you'll have Saturn conjunct the descendant. So, so in a solar return chart, you can look at where the ascendant and the midheaven fall. Um, so the midheaven will actually be around America's natal Uranus, might be significant. You also have Mars here making uh, what some people refer to as a yod, which is two sextiles that are um, both queen cunks. Or 150 degrees from another planet. In this particular instance, it would involve uh, Neptune and Pluto, both Queen Kunx Mars, which Mars also uh, kind of around the ascendant in the 12th house. And then you could also just look at the house that the sun happens to fall in in the solar return house, uh, in the solar return chart, which in this case would be the 11th house, would indicate perhaps this year there would be an emphasis on 11th house matters, community, social groups perhaps uh, humanitarian, uh, you know, or social issues, which, you know, hey, I mean, that uh, very well could be the case. Uh, yeah, and this is, I mean, this isn't a person's chart, it's a country's chart, so. Yeah, yeah, I mean, okay. I think the other thing that might be kind of interesting is is it's not indicated in the chart, but Venus will be going retrograde shortly after this. Uh, so, so at this point, I think Venus uh, changes direction and goes retrograde around 25 degrees, 27 degrees of Leo. Whatever is indicated by Venus in a nation's chart, which I, I can only speculate about that. And then Venus is also in a fairly tight square Uranus. So perhaps something, uh, a movement with, with women. Um, Mars and Venus being conjunct, typically um, in an individual's chart, those people tend to, not always, tend to be more socially outgoing. Um, and in the 12th house, uh, in a nation's chart, that very well could indicate like institutions, government, education system, medical system, things of that nature, media. It, it seems that the stage is set for some sort of, you know, social movement. Yeah. And, you know, the other thing, which is not on this chart, there's a, uh, a planet that is considered hypothetical at this point that I found uh, when I include it in my interpretations has, has always held up. Um, it would it would rule Virgo. It would carry the energy of, of Virgo. And it's right here at the beginning of Virgo. So um, I think it's around four degrees. So the Ascendant would also then be conjunct that planet if it if it exists. And so perhaps there would be a, a particular emphasis on uh, what's indicated by Virgo and, and those energies. It's it's referred to as trans-Pluto uh, slash Isis. And I think more commonly referred to as trans-Pluto because it would be distant. It would be outside of the orbit or further away from, from the sun than Pluto. 